Tahniah. Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia. Sebuah inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Tumbukan perhatian anda. Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi. Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini. Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan. Terima kasih. Hai, buah durian, buah jambu. Lebih enak lagi, buah duku. Jom belajar tuition percuma ayu. Teluskan usaha bertambah ilmu. Salam sejahtera, happy Diwali dan happy holiday okay, kepada para guru, para ibu bapa dan para pelajar sekalian. Selamat datang ke Pusat Tuition Academy YouTuber dengan usaha sama EDD Malaysia, Gap Guru Malaysia. Bermula percuma selamanya percuma. Cikgu perkenalkan diri dahulu. Nama cikgu, cikgu P. Hari ini adalah edisi yang istimewa. Okay? Cikgu P selaku moderator, control host dan presenter untuk petang ini. So petang ini kita akan bersiar langsung dari channel saya lah. Okay? Cikgu P. Okay? Siapa yang belum subscribe, silalah tekan butang subscribe sebagai tanda sokongan kepada Cikgu P. Cikgu P kini mengajar di SMJK Tinggi China Melaka. Hari ini kita akan belajar subjek tingkatan 4 dengan tajuk 6.3 Pembentukan image oleh Kanta. Sebelum sebelum kita teruskan kelas, suka Cikgu ingatkan kepada semua belajar dan penonton yang ingin berhantar komen. Sila gunakan bahasa yang sopan dan gambar profil yang bersesuaian untuk tontonan umum. Cikgu percaya semua yang hadir kelas pada petang ini merupakan pelajar-pelajar cemerlang dan mari kita tunjukkan disiplin yang terbaik. Link e sijil dan username akan diberi di hujung siaran dalam ruangan chat. Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh 30 minit selepas kelas tamat. Link e sijil hanya boleh diisi dengan email EDD, MOE, MyGuru dan Jawi. Cikgu akan berikan kod di sepanjang kelas untuk belajar tebus mata kredit IU. Link mata kredit ini juga akan diberi di hujung siaran nanti. Sila fokus pada isi pelajaran yang akan disampaikan oleh saya Cikgu P. Okay. Semoga kelas kita pada petang ini dapat dimanfaatkan sepenuhnya oleh para pelajar. So baiklah cikgu berikan dua kod yang pertama. Okay, iaitu A1. A1. Okay, so marilah kita bersama-sama dengan cikgu P petang ini. Okay, so Okay, so uh, seperti biasa, okay, so cikgu 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 akan, okay, Uh, memberitahu, ok, kelas tuition percuma fizik SPM. So, di sini untuk kelas tingkatan 5, ok, fizik SPM telah dijadualkan pada setiap hari Jumaat 9.30 malam. Manakala untuk kelas fizik tingkatan 4, seperti hari ini, ok, telah dijadualkan pada hari Ahad pukul 2 petang, ok. Ok, so ini adalah guru-guru, ok, di bawah panitia fizik SPM Academy YouTuber Malaysia yang banyak memberi sumbangan kepada pendidikan Malaysia. So sila berikan sokongan kepada uh, kita semua. Okay, so hello. Okay, so saya Cikgu P juga boleh dikenali sebagai Mr. P. So mengajar di SMJK Tinggi China Melaka. Okay. So tajuk yang cikgu akan okay, sampaikan hari ini adalah uh, sambungan okay, uh, chapter 6 okay, light and optic section 6.3 okay, formation of image by lenses. Okay. okay so today we have total four standard okay four learning standard have to go through okay so this is a uh, learning standard one Okay, so for learning center one, you have to able to identify, okay, so convex lenses as converging lenses, 
okay? Kanda chambong menupakan kanda yang menumpu, okay? So while concave lenses as diverging lenses, kanda chekong, okay? Sebagai kanda pencempa, okay? Apa dia? So kita go through kepada next slide. Okay, so what is lens? So apa kamu tahu tentang kanda, okay? So, so a lens is made of transparent materials such as glass or clear plastic, okay? So, dia melupakan bahan luk sinar seperti kaca plastik, okay? So, yang ini cikgu sudah kenalkan pada section 6.1, okay? So, uh, apakah efek yang ditunjukkan oleh bahan-bahan uh, luk sinar ini, okay? So, they will showing a reflection, okay? Pembiasan cahaya, okay? So, why they showing the reflection? Okay, because the light propagating, okay, from air which has a lower uh, optical density, okay, to the glass block which has the higher optical density, okay. Okay, so this means that, okay, so the lens will be showing the same phenomenon, okay. So light reflected when passing through a lens due to the light propagate, okay through different optical density okay so therefore the uh lens will be showing the bending effect okay okay because the light propagating from air to the lens okay so the lens showing uh higher optical density okay so the effect of the light bending will be different for different type of lens okay so basically okay so we have two type of lenses okay that is the Converging lens or known as convex lens. Okay. Another one will be concave lens or also known as converging lens. Okay. Okay. So here we have the three different types of convex lenses. So lenses, that means there is a material which they have two faces and at least one of the face is a curved face. Okay. So for the first one, the biconcave. Sorry, by convex lens will be showing two uh curve, okay, curved surface, while plano convex will be showing only one, okay, one surface. Okay. Okay, so uh and the meniscus meniscus uh convex lens also showing two curved surface, okay. So the convex lens there is a uh, thicker at the center of lens, okay, it will be here. So here the center showing a thicker portion okay thicker area so while for the convex uh, concave lens also known as converging lens okay so the center part will be showing uh more thinner lah, okay so here we have a uh, three type of the concave uh lens the first one is biconcave where they have the both side which is curved okay and then plano concave one face is only showing the curve or curved surface okay and, and the last one will be meniscus uh concave okay so the next will be okay so the differences between okay between the convex lens and the concave lens okay okay so uh the first you can see that the light Right ray parallel refracted inward. Okay, what means by refracted inward? So original path of the light should be at this line. Okay, so however, okay, so the light ray is uh, refracted inward, okay, inward inside, okay, inward after passing through the convex lens. So when the both side, the bottom side and the top side, okay, of the light, both uh showing the refracted inward okay so the light will be uh convex on the point so the point we call that focus point okay okay so while for the concave lens okay so light ray will be parallel also so this is a parallel right okay light ray okay so after passing through the lens okay so you can see okay so the light will be 
reflected outward okay the top side and the bottom side okay for the light ray after passing through the concave lens showing reflected outward so that means okay you can joining all the line together okay you can see that the light will be uh appear okay like the point at here okay so this is the fo focus point for the concave lens okay okay so uh so in these two diagram you can see that okay so the converging lens showing that the focus point is at the behind so here we say behind okay behind the uh lens okay while for the focus point okay on the diverging lens will be at the front okay which is have the same position at the uh right ray okay so if you let's say you using a white screen okay white screen and close to the point okay on the converging lens okay you will get a very sharp point so the sharp point is actually a real image okay so it's a real image so here focus point of convex lens is real okay because the image okay of the light will be converging and then okay you'll be able to draw on the white screen so that we see we can we can touch the point at the white screen right okay so this is the real image so that in calculation okay so the focal length the focal length of the con converging lens or, or convex lens will be showing positive okay so this one we will discuss at the checkpoint later on okay so for the concave lens okay so the focus point is not able okay to uh collected at why by using the white screen okay so for example our image showing at the mirror okay we can see our image but we cannot uh get our image at the white screen okay in the mirror so this is so called we uh, we, we are calling that there is a visual image okay so as the image is visual so that in calculation okay so the focal point focal length okay will be negative okay so at here focal point of concave lens is visual because reflected light ray appear to diverge from this point okay so the point will be at the same side of the object actually okay so this is a uh, negative Okay, so next we will discuss the optical terms in the both lenses. Okay, so the first term, so what is the optical center? Okay, so from the figure, you can see very clear that. Okay, so the optical center, okay, for, for, for both lenses will be at the center of lens and stack at the uh, symbol O. Okay, and then the second principle exists. Okay so it's a line passing through optical center okay so this is a line okay passing through optical center and also actually passing through the focus point okay so you can see this is a red line okay so this is a principle exists okay so the next one is the focus point focal point okay for the focal point the definition will be the point on principle exists where the right ray parallel to principle exists okay principle exists and converge to it so converge to it referring to the convex lens okay then diverge from it will be referring to a concave lens okay so that means if i say the question asking you what is the meanings of focal point for convex lens you have to mention the point on principle exists where the light ray parallel to principle exists converge to it after passing through the lens okay so i hope that you can understand what uh what is the meaning for both die of the lens lenses okay so the next will be the fourth turn okay focal length panjang focus okay so the is the distance between the optical the optical center okay and the focus point okay so this is the length for uh convex lens and as mentioned the focal focal length for the convex lens showing positive lah, when in calculation because the focus point showing a real image okay so while for the focal length of the concave length will be negative 
okay you can see here okay so because the image formed by the concave length is a uh, visual so in calculation the focal length will be using negative okay okay so the next term will be object distance okay so you can look at the figure here okay so the figure here showing that okay so the big figure here okay you can see u representing the object distance so the object here is a candle okay so the distance between the candle and the center of the optical okay is we call uh object distance and by using unit u while for the v representing the image distance okay so it's the distance between the image form on the screen to the optical center or combat lens okay so the unit we're using is v lah. okay okay so the next so uh what is the meaning okay what is the power of lenses okay so uh all the lenses we have a different power okay so uh how we measure the power of lenses here the definition given that okay this is the ability of the lens okay to bend the light ray entering it okay so the unit we're using for measuring the power of lenses is diopter d okay or we can using per meter also okay why per meter later on we discuss by using the formula okay so here okay so what is the bending uh ability here so we have the comparison here i give you the example for the combat lens okay with different thickness so uh the figure for this figure okay you can see the thin convex lens okay uh the red dash line showing the original path of the light okay but they bend after pass through the lens which is we call the uh, refraction okay from their sun okay so the angle here we mentioned uh, we write as theta one while for the thicker lens will be theta two okay if we just observe by our neck eyes okay we can see that okay so the theta two is greater than theta one so that means the bending ability for thicker convex lens is higher okay compared to the thinner convex lens okay okay so for a thicker for the thicker the center of convex lens okay so the thicker uh, the thicker convex lens okay so the power will be higher so how we show the power so this is the bending ability lah, okay so that uh, it will be able to converge light with bigger angle so this is showing by theta 2 okay okay so now let us discuss the uh relationship between the thickness of the lens for car length and also the power so as explained in the previous slide so the higher the thickness the higher okay the power power of the lens how about the focal length okay so again you have to observe the figure so from the figure thicker thicker combat lens showing okay a shorter focal length so why because the light ray will be bending more okay inward okay so that the focal length will become smaller okay okay so here you can see that the another relationship okay between the thickness of the lens and the power and the focal length can be set at this okay so the thicker the center of convex lens okay the shorter the focal length and then the higher the power of the lens okay so this is the idea here okay okay so the power of the lens we can see is actually inversely proportional to focal length okay so when power higher the focal length will be sh uh, shorter okay due to the greater bending angle okay so the formula we can state it as p weighs the symbol for power of lens and f is the focal length okay so will be inversely proportional to each other okay so the unit side for length will be meter right so that's why the power of lens can be stated can be given as unit diopter or one over n 
which is per meter. Okay, so both representing equivalent unit. Uh, okay. Okay, so power or focal length or convex length is taken as positive because showing the real image. Okay. Okay, so next will be the relationship between the thickness okay of the concave lens so now we discussion a uh, relationship between another type of the uh, lens okay so what is the relationship between the thickness of the concave lens for car length and the power is it showing the same result okay let us see together okay so from the figure again i will given you two different thickness of the concave lens okay so the figure first figure here showing the thinner okay the thinner concave lens and the uh, another side okay the right side okay will be showing the thicker convex concave lens okay so from here we can see what we can see here the first also the bending effect so here go theta one and theta two okay okay by looking with our neck eyes we, without any measurement okay you guys say you print out the notes okay so you can get my notes pdm notes from the uh, description in my youtube okay link okay okay so from here you can measure with by using your protector so theta two is greater sorry theta one is greater than theta two okay this one is showing the different uh condition compared to concave lens right okay so that means at here the thinner okay the thinner the concave lens okay so the effect will be higher so that means the power will be higher okay and the focal length is shorter okay so this is a uh, different with the con convex lens okay for the convex lens thicker lens will be showing uh shorter focal length so for the concave lens the thinner lens will be showing the shorter shorter focal length okay okay so here is the conclusion for the slide okay so for a concave lens the higher the power lens okay power lens you can higher power lens, you can look at the data lah, huh? okay the angle showing by the figure okay will diverge light rate at the bigger angle okay so this is a bigger angle okay so the thinner the center of the concave lens the shorter the focal length okay so you have to highlight this one lah. okay okay so as i mentioned that okay the focal point of the concave lens is not able okay to be to be showing okay or drop on the white screen okay so it will be a visual image so that in calculation the focal length okay for the concave lens we have to put negative there okay okay so what i mentioned about the put positive or negative regarding the con focal length of the lenses so here is the uh, discussion okay so you can look at the checkpoint 6.1 okay question 1a okay so you can do together and give your answer okay in your in the chat room okay so the first one the focal length of the uh, convex lens is 20 cm what is the power okay so as mentioned so here the length for the convex lens will be showing positive okay because it is a real image okay so for the calculation of power we have to change the cm into unit si which is 0 0.2 meter so the, the formula we use will be one over f so we just substitute all the value okay the the highlighted in this question is positive for the focal length of convex lens okay so you get five diopter or five per meter also can okay so the next question okay so it's a focal length of the concave lens in the 10 uh, the concave lens okay is showing 10 cm for the focal length okay so why is the power so again because of the image okay for the convex uh, concave lens is visual okay so we will using negative 10 cm for the focal length focus length okay focal length also the same uh, for the convex uh, concave lens okay so we have to change the cm 10 cm to unit si which is 0 0.1 meter okay so we substitute again the value but we have to put negative for the concave lens focal length 
So we get the answer negative 10, okay, doctor. Okay. So the next uh, is a question, okay, from SPM 2017, question five. Okay, so this is a type of question regarding the conception. Okay, conception. So you come with the bandingan, do a gamba raja. Okay. Okay, so look at the question together. Diagram 5.1 show a rail diagram, okay, of a convex lens with a focal length. Okay, so question already given. Focal length equal to 35 mm. Okay, and then given the H, uh, H1 will be the image height. Okay, and then for the diagram 2, the focal length is given 50 mm, and the image here is H2. If you compare, here okay you can see the image height for the diagram 5.2 is higher okay okay so let, let us see the question together okay so set the light phenomenon involved to produce the image by the convex lens okay you can see the bending line after passing through okay bending line of the light ray after passing through the lens so that means it's very clear okay so this is the reflection okay from Biasan, okay so the second is a comparison between okay between the diagram 5.1 and 5.2 regarding the thickness okay so you can see the thickness of the lens here and here okay it's very clear that okay so the 5.1 is thicker than 5.2 okay again in the section a paper paper 2 okay you can just using a symbol and not need to stack the parameter for section a However, for section C, you have to mention the parameter in your answer. This one will be discussed later on, okay? So how about the focal length, okay? So the focal length will be, okay, will be distance between focus point and the center, okay? So this is a focal length for diagram 5.1, and here will be 5.2, okay? So from here you can see 5.1 is uh thicker so that means actually it will be shorter right okay so 5.1 is shorter than 5.2 how about the image okay image for the 5.1 is shorter okay shorter than 5.2 so you can just using symbol okay okay so for the next question okay so for this our question there will be five mark regarding the conception okay so what is the relationship between the thickness of the lens and the focal length? Okay, from the figure you can see, okay, as the thick thickness increase, the focal length will be decreased. Okay, so the thicker the lens, the shorter the focal length. Or you can just mention the thickness of the lens is inversely proportional to the focal length. Okay, so the next one is the relationship between the focal length and the height of the image. Okay, so from here, you can choose any diagram okay if i say i look at the diagram 5.2 so focal length will be uh, longer right okay then the image will be image height will showing also uh bigger so that means this is the uh, direct proportional okay so the shorter the focal length the uh the smaller the image okay so this is uh can referring to 5.1 now okay this is a uh, uh, vice versa also can you can put as the longer the long the longer the focal length the bigger the image okay also can okay so here another question okay so a leaf blown by the strong wind cover the upper portion of the convex lens okay in diagram 5.1 so this is diagram 5.1 okay so what happened to the size and the brightness so you can see the mark here is two so you have to give the size is it any effect for the size so if i say the leaf cover the lens the upper lens okay so will be no any affected for the size because the distance of the object is not affected it's always the same okay so that means the size will be remain the same however because the the leaf already covering the upper part okay of the convex lens that means the light so that means the light uh penetrate will be lesser okay so the brightness will be decreased so here the size will be remain unchanged first mark another one is the brightness will be decreased second mark okay 
Okay, so we have finished our first learning standard. Okay, so now we go to our second learning standard. Okay, okay, so in le second learning standard, we just want to estimate the focal length. Okay, for a convex lens by using the distant object. Okay. Okay, so here you can see this is a, a science repository. Okay, so you can place your uh convex lens. Okay okay on the lens holder okay and close to the window okay why window because you want to get distant object right okay so it, it means the light from infinity la, oh. okay so the first the convex lens is directed towards the distant object okay here maybe it's a window image will be formed a tree or whatever the object okay from the outside okay so the second okay so the screen behind so behind the lens is adjusted okay until a sharp image is observed on the screen okay so you can see okay so here you have to adjust your white screen okay so here we have two examples of the image one is blur one is sharp okay so you have to moving your moving your screen to front or behind until okay you get okay you get a sharp image okay so if I say you you see the image at the white screen is still blur like this, okay? So you have to doing the adjust adjustment on your distance of screen, okay? To to the lens now, okay? Until you get a very sharp, okay? Very sharp uh image drop on the white screen, okay? So after you get the sharp image, okay? So the image which drop on the white screen we know as the, okay? We know as the real image okay and the distance okay between the distance between the screen and the lens will be known as focal length okay so this is a very simple uh experiment you can conduct at your school okay okay so now we go to the learning standard three okay so this is the hardest part for this section okay so you have to memorize okay all the characteristic and the position especially for the convex lens with the different position of the object okay okay so you have to determine the position and the fixture of the image formed by convex lens and the concave lens okay so at here the convex lens we have different six position of object in front of the lens will be discussed and then for the concave there will be only one okay so let us see together okay so the first one we discussed the character okay the character and the position will be formed by the image okay by using the combat lens so how we can determine the position the size and the characteristic of image formed by the combat lens we can using okay ray diagram okay for 6.2 we 6.3 okay we're using ray diagram to determine the position size and character of image okay for section 6.4 okay we'll be going to teach by uh Jeku Hasita, okay we were using the formula okay to determine the position size and character okay you have two options okay to to determine the character okay so this is the first method we're using the ray diagram okay so for the ray diagram you can look at the figure we have one two three four okay so we have four set okay however for the ray the 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 rule of the ray uh penetration will be f3 okay so there is the first rule so the ray through the optical center is undivated undivated that means there is no any uh bending effect or no reflection the other okay for the first one the second one okay so the ray will be parallel parallel to the principal axis and then after uh pass through the lens will be reflected behind here will be behind here will be front line, okay okay behind the lens and go through the focal point okay so this is the second second rule okay and then the third will be the ray okay will be passed through the focus point okay in front of the lens 
and then after passing through the lens will be parallel to the uh principal axis okay the step number four you will be draw the arrow for the image lah, okay so how we draw will be we choose the uh, intersection point of the line so although we have three different different rule okay so we just need to use two of the rule okay when you are drawing okay the ray diagram okay so here we can we will discussion for the image form by the combat lens okay so uh the image form and the character and the position is depending on the position of the object okay so that means you have to discuss first the position is it the image form at the same side of the object or opposite okay will be either one another one okay the character will be visual or real upright or inverted diminished same size or magnified you have to mention uh these three okay so now let us discuss together okay so this is this is a red diagram for convex lens for different object distance okay so the first one we place at the infinity so this is will be almost same as the experiment we discussed at the learning center two. okay so the light come from the infinity so the first ray we draw is pass through the optical center okay which is not showing any uh, bending effect so the second line okay we choose the we choose for the third line as mentioned just now okay okay so pass through the focus point okay and then parallel to the principal axis okay so the intersection point will be here okay then you draw the arrow you can see the purple color arrow is the image form okay by the object which is from the infinity okay so the length between here between the image and the focal point sorry for the uh optical optical center will be focal length okay okay so you can see the object is at the opposite side so the object is here image will be here so object will be at the opposite side of object okay and then the image form will be real so because when you place the white screen here you can get the image okay inverted and the size will be diminished so the application here will be objective lens of telescope okay this one we will discuss at the section 6.5 so the next one when you place at the uh longer longer than 2f okay so again you have to draw two of the three lines so the first we draw the line passing through optical center okay but here we're using second line okay so the the ray will be passed through the focus point behind the lens okay so we get the intersection point will be here so here we can see the purple color which is the image okay is showing downward the error so that means this is also uh inverted okay and the size is smaller so it will be diminished and then normally is at opposite side there will be real image okay so this is a discussion for the character and the application we're using at the camera okay so the next okay will be put at the 2f okay 2f that means if let's say the combat lens showing the focal length with 10 so that means you're placing at 20 cm lah. okay okay so sini mazwin cikgu macam mana nak kena pasti beza image maya dan okay so Mazwin, di sini biasanya kalau, okay, saya bagikan contoh ini ya. Okay, first you draw line ini. Second, line seperti ini. So kamu akan nampak arrow dia. Biasa, kalau dia punya tempat bertentangan dengan objek, okay, dia mesti, dia mesti real. Kalau kamu buat eksperimen, kamu letak satu kertas A4 di sini. Kamu akan nampak satu arrow di sini, yang terbalik. Okay, kalau dia punya nanti kamu akan nampak arrow ini bersama dengan tempat objek dia akan tunjukkan yang banyak. Oh, Mazwin, 
So harap cikgu menjawab soalan. Kalau tak faham, boleh tanya lagi. Okay? Okay, so the character, so the, okay, so di sini ada satu lagi. You boleh nampak distance bagi real punya image ah dia mesti 4F. Object dengan image. Okay, dia mesti sentiasa 4F. Nanti kita tengok apa apakah yang kamu boleh nampak. Okay? So here will be real, okay? Seperti yang saya kata, kalau dia pada tempat yang bertentangan, dia mesti nyata. Okay, boleh ya, Mas Vin? Okay? So inverted, you boleh nampak arrow dia memang terbalik. Okay? Then size dia sama. Sebab dia punya position 2F, image pun 2F, dia punya distance. Okay? So application, photocopy machine. Okay, so yang keempat. Okay, so we place between, between F and 2F lah. Okay? Okay, so the first line will be the same, pass through the optical center, okay? So the next will be pass through the focus behind the lens, okay? So we get the arrow again, okay? So Masvin, kamu nampak? So dia punya tempat masih bertentangan. So dia punya objek mesti real juga, dia mesti songsang. Di sini kamu nampak arrow dia punya size lebih panjang. Dia sudah dibesarkan, Okay? Okay, so application, objective lens of microscope. Yang ini semua application cikgu akan bincang dalam 6.5. Okay, okay, so di sini kamu nampak dia bukan lagi uh, real, nyata. Oh. Okay, dia menjadi maya. Kenapa? Sebab dia punya ketutukan objek dengan image sama eh, di sini. Okay, so first replacing. Apabila kita punya objek distant, okay, letak pada F, oh, dia akan mula ubah menjadi Maya, okay. So first line sama pass through optical center. Second line sama pass through lens. Eh, focus focus point behind the lens, okay. So jadi kita joinkan. So di sini dia tidak akan bertemu, okay. Image akan berada di infinity. Saya rasa saya punya hands out ada silap sikit, oh. Saya tulis sini salah. So saya suatu kata kepada start saya. So you uh, belajar boleh tukar sendiri di di PDF itulah, okay? Okay, so di sini you, you boleh nampak objek dengan image tempat yang sama, okay? Jadi image menjadi maya. So kamu tidak dapat kalau kamu guna A4 paper dekat di mana mana pun kamu tidak akan dapat sebarang objek pada kertas paper itu sebab dia punya image adalah visual seperti image yang ditunjukkan oleh cermin kita. Kita nampak kita, tapi kita tak dapat sentuh image kita pada white screen. Kalau kamu letakkan white screen di belakang ke depan ke mana-mana. Okay? So, di sini dia punya uh, objek akan dibesarkan, image akan dibesarkan. Okay? Application, eyepiece of telescope. So, the last one will be placing smaller the distance from the focal length. Okay? So, again, we draw the first line pass through optical, optical center, the second line pass through the focal point behind the lens, okay? So, we can join both the red and green line, uh, green line, okay? So, we get intersection point is here. So, kamu nampak dia punya arrow adalah upright, okay? Upright, then dia visual, then dia punya size lebih besar. Okay? So, same side of the object. Okay, ah? Eh? Okay, so image dia visual upright magnified. So application magnifying glass. Okay. Ni, ini adalah enam diagram yang ditunjukkan oleh convex lens. Okay, so ini adalah summary yang kita boleh buat di sini. So yang di sini kamu akan bincangkan image yang dibentuk adalah banyak, eh, maya atau nyata, tegak atau songsang atau ketutukan dia bertendangan ataupun sensei. Okay, so di sini if I say U is less than focal length, okay? If, for example, the, the convex length given that the focal length is about 10 cm, okay? So you place less than 10 cm. So the image will be visual, upright, and same position as object. However, if I say greater than focal length, okay? So the image will be real, inverted, and at the opposite side. Okay? You can see the GIF here, okay? So when the arrow object is closest to the lens, okay, the object will be changed from real to visual, okay. So how about the size of image, okay. So size of image, let's say you place more than 2F, 
so the image will be smaller if i say you place at exactly 2f they will be same size if i say you place less than 2f will become bigger okay this is the uh, changes okay you can see at the combat lens okay so this is me at the large checkpoint the number point bigger okay so this is me don't move really hard uh SPM to your blast on okay question number nine a question dual below a number okay so which ray diagram is correct for combat lens young a mana yang salah okay so kalau kamu tahu boleh type kan jawaban anda di chat room okay so the young yang pertama salah di sini sebab dia punya line tidak pass through optical center yang b pun sama line ini tidak melalui optical center so a dengan b pun suara salah Okay, so Jim, okay, so jawapan D, okay, so kita tengok betul ke salah. Okay, so C, salah juga sebab dia punya line ini tidak pass through optical center. Okay, so jawapan dia memang D lah, okay. So, Mazuin, okay, Jim, tengah baik, okay. So, yang first line pass through center, yang second line pass through focal point behind the lens, okay. So, jawapan D, baik, okay. So, the next, okay, so positif juga boleh break up jawapan anda di chat room okay kita kita boleh okay bersama okay so diagram sebelah menunjukkan suatu objek diletakkan di hadapan kanda cembong okay kanda cembong combat lens okay so you can see here where the where the object place is greater than 2f so as mentioned greater than 2f will be smaller size you must see smaller okay smaller other a atau c saja okay okay so di sini sekiranya objek dia place lebih besar daripada f dia punya objek mesti eh dia punya image mesti real so jawapan dia jawapan dia adalah a okay so ada kamu kamu betul okay jawapan dia a ya okay so sekarang masa untuk anda break sekejap okay Okay, so sebelum cikgu uh, bagi kamu break, okay, cikgu bagi dulu, okay, kot yang kali kedua, okay, yaitu kosong lima, kosong lima, okay, so jangan pergi ke mana-mana, okay, so kembali selepas ini ya. Okay, so baiklah, jom teruskan bersama Cikgu Pei. Okay, so next discussion. Okay, so ini adalah contoh yang Cikgu tadi ada sebutkan. Okay, so section C. Okay, so kalau tuliskan comparison. 
okay jenis soalan konsepsi mesti tulis parameter okay so kita bincangkan soalan ini okay bersama okay so masa pun tidak uh, banyak lagi so kita akan go to cepat sikit lah okay so the gate 9.1 and 9.2 okay shows the light ray from two identical object okay passing through the convex lens j and k so the difference between j and k is the thickness okay so the j showing the uh, thicker center okay compared to k okay so both lenses produce a visual image why because the uh, the object distance the object distance is less than f okay as mentioned less than f or equal to f the the image will be changed from real to visual okay so f is the local fo uh, focal point for each lens okay okay so uh what is the meanings of visual image so as mentioned visual image is an image that is cannot form on the white screen okay so very easy this one so a visual image is an image that cannot be formed on the screen okay so first mark you get okay so here is what i mentioned the comparison the conception question where you have to mention the parameter in your answer okay so the first one we're referring to diagram 9.1 and 9.2 compare the thickness so here we have five mark so you have to write five point so this is the first okay the second focal length so compare the focal length the third size of the image produced so you have to bracket what is the question asked how you can get the full mark okay so normally this sort of question you will be able to get full five mark so the relationship between the size of the image and the length of it length a uh, focal length so the fourth mark relationship between the power and the focal length so five mark five mark here okay so the first mark you compare the thickness so we can see j is greater than k so in section a you can just mention j greater than k but here if like you let's say you say let's say you write as j greater than k they will be zero mark because the marker do know which parameter you're referring to so here you must write mention lens of the lens j is thicker than k okay so you have to showing thicker here the second comparison between the focal length so the focal length 9.1 is shorter right okay so they mean j is less than k okay so focal length you have to mention okay you let's say you mention j less than k it will be no mark you have to mention the parameter in front of your answer okay so the third one comparing the comparing the size of image so the size of image will be here so this is very clear that j is greater than k you see j is greater than k then i just add on the parameter size of image which is which i copy from the question okay size of the image okay okay now you can see yeah okay so the the fourth mark will be the relationship between the size the size of the image and the focal length so the size of the image you can see this one 9.1 bigger okay then the focal length is shorter okay so when the focal length increases the size of image is decreased so we are referring to that like 9.2 you can also mention inversely proportional okay but you can you must write focal length is inversely proportional to the size of image huh? okay if i say you just mentioned inversely proportional you will be also zero mark okay so the last one will be the relationship between the power so here how we see the power normally you see uh, if we have the greater power sure we will showing the bigger image right so here you can see 9.1 the image is bigger so that means the focal length shorter the power will be higher uh. this is same with the formula p equal to one over f uh. So it's also inversely proportional. Okay. Okay. So for the next question, okay, explain why a piece of paper burn when placed under a convex lens aims towards hot sun ray. Okay. For this this question, four mark you have to give at least four point. For this sort of question, normally if I say we don't have any diagram, we don't have any anything to refer. Okay. So we have. We have only one sentence here, so we just follow. We draw the image, okay? So the image here, given that the light ray is come from infinity, right? When you draw, you will have an idea. Yes, okay. Nuring eye, okay. Sangat baik, okay. Bersama cikgu, okay. 
semakin bertambah fokus point semakin kurang image okay okay betul okay okay baik okay so di sini yang idea yang pertama selepas kamu lukis kamu akan ada idea light come from where distance so that means infinity so bermaksud di sini dia adalah dia adalah uh, ray diagram di mana u sama dengan infinity kan okay dia punya objek Sorry, dia punya uh, uh, dia punya light ray akan fokus, okay, pada focus point. Okay, this is the second idea. And then when the all the light focus together, the intensity will be intensity of the light will be increased. And then, okay, what will happen? The temperature of paper will be increased. Okay, so you have to find the idea from the diagram. Okay, so the first sentence here will be, para Parallel light ray from the sun, from the hot sun at infinity through the compact lens will be the first mark. Okay, second, light ray are focused. Okay, you can see focus and pass the lens, and then will be converge at the focal point. So here will be third point, and then the last one. So at this point, intensity of the light will be increased. Okay, so that the temperature of paper will be increased and when the spot of the paper become hot enough okay hot enough so the paper will be burned so for this side of question okay so i advise you write more than four point because the point we've given sometimes is not within the marking scheme maybe you can give five or six okay but the answer cannot be contrastic why is contrastic for example here i said the increase in temperature is correct answer but you mentioned another one decrease in temperature so that means both of this is showing contrastic. So that means the increase in temperature will be also no mark will be given because you showing two contrastic answer. Okay. So you can write more answer but not in contrastic. Okay. So this is the idea here. Okay. So now okay. So the next will be the image formed by the concave lens. Okay. So we have finished discussion about the uh image formation from the convex lens okay so now we discuss about the concave lens so the concave lens will be very easy okay okay so again the same so we can using the ray diagram to determine the position the size and the characteristic formed by the concave lens okay so this is the three three rule okay the first one again the ray will be passing through the optical center and undeviated okay the other Biasan berlaku, okay? Bila uh, cahaya melalui optical center, okay? So yang kedua, okay? Ray parallel to the principal axis. So the principal axis will be here. And then reflected from the point F. Okay, in front of the lens. So here is in front. So that means uh, the image, eh, sorry, the fo focus point here is actually visual. Lah, okay? Can see but cannot touch. Okay, we can see. We, we can... Uh, explain the visual image like this so the third ray will be the ray towards okay the ray towards f okay behind behind the lens okay parallel to the axis okay cahaya ditumpu pada satu fokus menyebabkan kertas menjadi cepat panas hmm saya rasa yang ini dia akan beri pada maka kedua sebab itu tulis fokus kan okay so yang maka keempat mungkin mungkin boleh dapat sekiranya kamu tuliskan uh, mungkin achieve temperature minimum lah okay so tapi di sini maksudnya kamu boleh dapat maka kedua sebab ada perkataan focus oh okay okay so yang seterusnya so image position and character form by the concave lens so will be very easy tidak berkandung kepada position so that means what all the position will showing the same same rule of the ray diagram okay so you just need to draw first line pass through the optical center the second line is option okay so from here okay i choose the the light ray passing through in front of the lens okay so here you can see the intersection point is here so is uh, the image is showing by the purple arrow so you can see the size is smaller okay and then at the same position at the same position of the object so that means 
same position will be visual image. Ah, okay. Masih pun tadi tanya kan, will be visual. Bila kamu nampak dia punya arrow, dia punya image dengan objek sama tempat, dia mesti visual. Dia mesti upright. Okay, diminish kamu boleh lihat dia punya size. Purple color punya image lebih kecil daripada hitam punya objek. So dia dikecilkan lah. Okay. Okay, so aplikasi di sini adalah membetulkan perlihatan rabun jauh, okay? Seperti apa yang cikgu pakai sekarang spek ini lah, okay? Okay, so 8.6.3, okay? Question 5, okay? This is a question. Uh, 2005, soalan 28, jenis aneka terbuka. Tengok dia dulu sebenarnya sudah pernah ada, okay? Uh, objektif aneka terbuka, okay? So, selepas itu dia tak ada. Sekarang dia muncul semula, okay? Untuk KSSM. Okay, so a student draws light ray passing through a lenses PQRS. So, here we got, we got four different lenses, okay? So, F is the focal point. So, F is the focal point, okay? So, which di, uh, drawing show the correct path? So, the first one, okay? So, betul tak? Ah, so, tadi kita tiada bincangkan seperti yang ini kan? Okay, tetapi di sini. Tadi cikgu saya sebut apa-apa saja sinar yang melalui optical center tiada pembiasan berlaku. Okay, so there is no any uh, deviation occur. So for this correct. Okay, so answer is C oh, from Jin. Okay, okay, so we see is it correct. Okay, so satu betul. Okay, so the second one. Okay, so the second one is the concave lens. Okay, so the pop. Okay, uh, appear from the Focus point in front of the lens also correct. Okay, so the third one is wrong because the right ray supposed have to passing through the focal point. So third wrong already. So it's third wrong already. So it's very clear, right? Actually, it's C. Okay. So the fourth one also showing correct because the right ray passing through optical center, which you also do not uh deviated. Okay. So the answer is C. Okay, very good. Okay, correct. Okay, so for the next one, okay, so this is the question from the 2009 question 8. So this is only the partial of the question, which is related to our topic today. Okay, so diagram F1 shows an image seen through a lens. Okay, so you can, what you can see, you can see that the image become bigger. So this is actually a main fine glass. So in main fine glass, that means we put the U at less than F, right? Less than F or U, F also can actually, okay? So what is the phenomenon? Yes, okay, Jin, okay, thank you for your support, okay? So it's refraction, okay? So betul, so pembiasan, okay? So dia, dia gambar lain tapi tanya semua sebenarnya sama, okay? Phenomenon, okay? So yang B, on diagram 8.2, draw a ray diagram to show how the image in diagram 8.1 show a form, okay? So here, this is a example for u which is uh, less than f. So when u is less than f, that means we will get visual image. So before we doing, we have we need have some idea there. Okay. So the second will be uh, magnified, and then one more is up upright. Okay. So the first here got three point, okay. That means we have three line at least, okay. So first line will be pass through optical center, second line will be pass through focus point behind the lens. After that, we join both both the line together, so we get two mark, and then we have to showing that our image is upright, okay, by the purple arrow here, okay. Then you will get the mark, okay. Okay, so the next question, okay, so the focal length of the lens in diagram 8.2 is F. Okay, so the lens, uh, the example just now, okay, B, showing that the image is visual because the U is less than F. So now the question asks you to give a suggestion that the position of the object where have to place so that we can get inverted image. Okay, inverted image definitely will be a real image. So how we can get a real image, okay? As mentioned in the summary, so we have to put the U at greater than the 
for car length. Okay, so the answer here will be the object should be placed at a position with object distance greater than f. Okay, so this is the answer. So you just mentioned greater distance, object distance greater than f, you will get that. You will get full mark already. Okay, so this is the idea here. Okay, so okay, very fast. Okay, so uh, we will go into end. Okay, so the learning center for here. Okay, okay, so explain the linear magnification. Okay, so the symbol using by linear magnification here will be m. Okay, so formula v over u. The v here is uh image distance. And the U will be object distance. Okay. Okay. So the size of image is dependent on the size of object. Yes. Okay. So how we can see the object become bigger? So we're comparing the product and the initial part, right? Okay. Okay. So this is the comparison between the size of image and the size of object. Okay. So to calculate the linear magnification, okay. So we can compare the size of the image to the size of object. Okay, so the image of the size we put as HI normally, okay? And then size of object we'll put as HO. Okay, so here uh, HO will be size of the object, HI will be size of the image, okay? Okay, so the formula can come to hi over ho which is the size of image over the size of object okay if i say your m is greater than one so that means the image is greater right so the image greater that means this is magnified while if m equal to one that means they will be same size So same size, you like say we're using convex lens, that means we put the object at 2x. Uh. Okay, and then you like say you get your M less than one, that means your image is smaller. So your image will be diminished. Uh. Okay, so this is the meaning of the M. Okay, okay so the linear magnification can also be calculated using the image distance which is stated as u with uh, sorry image distance is v okay and the object distance will be u okay so the formula can be end out with this okay v over u equal to uh hi over ho okay okay so we go for our last question okay of today okay so an object with with a height of 3 cm okay object with height that means ho lah. okay so 3 cm referring to ho is placed 15 cm okay from the convex lens okay so that means here will be our u object distance so a sharp image is formed on the screen if i say a sharp image is formed on the screen that means definitely this is a real image okay so the real image okay so here uh, 30 cm from length so here it will be v so the question asks you to get what is the height of the image okay so they mean what is the hi okay so we okay so we have answer d okay so let's check your answer whether correct or not okay jim okay so firstly we have to step we have to take out what's the information given okay so as mentioned Okay, HO is equal to 3 cm, U equal to 15 cm, V equal to 30 cm. How about the HI, which is representing the height of image? So we substitute in the formula, okay? And then you will get 6, okay? Okay, well done, Jin, okay? So you get a correct answer. Okay, so that is all for today, okay? I hope that you are understand uh, what I teach today, okay? So, uh, okay, so we are actually
come to the end of our section today. Okay, so I today is a very special edition. Now huh? it's a Diwali day and also a all-in-one uh, task for me. Okay, so I will. I think I I we have a person very important behind the screen. Okay, I invite the person here, Jiku Hasita. Hi, Jiku Hasita. Hi, Jiku Pe. Okay, Bole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Tanya lah, okay, tak terima kasih, okay, diucapkan kepada semua, okay, yang setia mengikuti kelas, okay, dari awal ke sekarang, okay, okay, so cikgu lah bagikan kod yang terakhir, boleh kan cikgu, Hasita? Okay. Boleh, boleh. So, kod yang terakhir, tujuh, lapan, tujuh, lapan, okay, so, uh, Okay, so sebelum kita tamatkan sesi siaran langsung ini, mohon tutup ruangan chat, okay? So, klik subscribe dan aktifkan ikon lonceng supaya anda tidak lepaskan sesi kelas Cikgu Pei, okay? Yang seterusnya. So, nanti ya subscribe, like, ha? okay? So, uh, sharekanlah like, kanlah link, okay? Kelas pada hari ini, okay? Pada media sosial anda supaya lebih ramai belajar, okay? Mendapat kebaikan daripada perkongsian ini, okay? Okay, so layang uh, wilap portal www.academicyoutuber.com untuk mendapatkan info terkini berkaitan tentang, tentang class tuition for Chuma, are you in Malaysia, okay? Okay, so uh, saya, saya berikan dulu, okay? So link, okay? Link, link isi je, okay? Kepada semua, okay? Sekejap, ya, saya bagikan link isi je. Okay, so sambil-sambil cikgu Pei kongsikan link sijil, cikgu nak ucapkan uh, terima kasih dan syabas dan tahniah kepada semua pelajar yang mengikuti kelas kita pada hari ini daripada awal pukul 2 tadi sehinggalah ke saat ini. You are the best. So teruskan usaha anda belajar rajin-rajin especially for SPM 2021 candidates. Uh, so I hope uh, this session will help you to understand this content standard in a better way. Cikgu harap apa yang dikongsikan oleh Cikgu Pei tadi sangat jelas, uh, sangat detail dan sangat teratur uh, dan kamu boleh tengok semula video-video ini if you miss any part of the lesson. Boleh ulang semula, boleh ulang tonton dan boleh pausekan di mana-mana bahagian uh, untuk kamu fahami sesuatu uh, yang dibincangkan itu dengan lebih baik. Okay, jadi uh, keep uh, a good job, teruskan usaha anda, rajin-rajin belajar, rajin-rajin mengulang kaji. Cikgu doakan semoga anda Cemerlang dalam peperiksaan percubaan nanti. It's coming soon, right, Mr. Pei? The trial, SPM trial, just around the corner. Sangat sangat yes. hampir. Hmm. Okay, so Cikgu Pei dah kongsikan kan link sijil dan link kredit semua. So pelajar pelajar bolehlah isikan link kredit boleh diisikan menggunakan username yang dikongsikan oleh Cikgu Pei tadi. So itu saja daripada Cikgu. Uh, jangan lupa minggu depan bersama dengan Cikgu Hasita enam perpuluhan empat formula kantanipis uh, thin lens formula. Okay, Cikgu yeah. Pei back to you. Okay, so uh, Terima kasih kepada semua penyokong okay, Akademi Tuber. Doakan kami okay, terus kuat dan bersemangat untuk membantu dalam membangunkan pendidikan di Malaysia. Okay. So again, happy Diwali, happy holiday. Okay. So sekian daripada kami. Okay. So uh, jumpa lagi minggu depan. Okay. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum and bye bye semua. Wow, banyaknya hadiah menarik menanti anda. Wah, kini Akademi Youtuber mengambil inisiatif baru di mana memberikan hadiah-hadiah ini secara percuma. Ya, percuma kepada anda semua. Hmm, bagaimana caranya dengan mengikuti kelas tuition online percuma Akademi Youtuber sambil mengutip mata kredit? Anda dapat menukarkannya dengan hadiah-hadiah yang menarik ini. Tunggu apa lagi? Segalanya percuma. Jangan lepaskan peluang tau. Dah dapat banyak hadiah menarik, takkan nak lepaskan peluang. Layari www.academyyoutuber.com sekarang untuk maklumat lanjut.
dibawakan kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber.